All right, hey Virgo. So I am doing a read for you guys. And this read is um, with the intention of reunion within 30 days from today. So between now and 30 days, these are gonna be pretty specific reads. So if this doesn't resonate, make sure you check your Venus, um, Moon and Rising signs. Um, also, you're gonna know this is your read by what caused the separation and um, your current energy. So if that doesn't resonate, you guys are gonna to wanna to check your other placements. If you're new, welcome. I hope you guys will subscribe. And if you're not looking forward to the return of a past lover, this is not your read, okay? I will be doing singles reads soon. So what caused the separation? guys could be in separation for some time all right we have the magician card coming out and i feel like that's a form of um you and this person mutual energy um you know formulating um conspiring with the universe saying i want this back i feel like you guys know that this is happiness right here okay um with the hangman coming out i do feel like that's the representation of um this connection being um having gone on for some time all right, and when we get split apart, um, healing is necessary. So I feel like that that's what's been happening here. What happened? What caused the separation? What caused the separation? All right, so I kind of feel like with the Page of Swords, I'm getting a, um, a sense of mistrust. I do feel like this is a connection that, that was newer, but I kind of feel like there's a mistrusting energy when it comes to the Page of Swords for the spread. I don't know why I feel like that. Um, I, I use the words that come into my head. I feel like that's what I'm supposed to say. Um, and, it's, and I feel like the mistrust comes from situations that were based on the past. So um, I kind of feel like you, maybe you guys were never even committed, um, maybe um, casual dating, maybe friends with benefits. I kind of feel like that's the kind of situation. And it's like um, for either you or this person, however it, it resonates, um, it, it's like I don't trust. I don't trust relationships. I don't trust that I can be happy in a relationship because of how I've been treated in the past, even though you make me very happy. All right, even though we make each other happy. And I feel like the pull apart um, was just some inner um, strengthening that needed to happen. All right, and this is divine masculine energy. So it could be that the masculine in this connection um, has some self-reflection to do, some growth, um, some, um, um, you know, some, yeah, co-conspiring with the universe. Why can't I be happy? Um, what, what is it gonna take? Is everybody going to be the same? Is is all are all relationships going to end in sadness and pain? I feel like um, I feel like you're dealing with somebody who just doesn't trust love, all right. And I feel like the pullback has been because this person's kind of doing the self reflection. Like, I don't get why I feel so happy with this person. I've been burnt in the past. Is it going to happen again? All right. That's kind of what I feel um, is going on here. Um, and this person could have even told you, I don't trust relationships. I don't trust love. I've been hurt too many times. All right. Um, that's kind of the feeling I'm getting, but ultimately you guys know I'm right there in your solar plexus that you make each other very happy. So what is your current energy? Your current energy. Look at this. You want to come out of the break. All right. I feel like you want to heal this person. You're in this energy like, I can't get you out of my head, and I just want to help you heal, all right? And um, I, I even feel like you're healing from just the split, the drawback from this connection. I do feel like this is new, um, and I feel like for whatever's happened, even in this connection, even though this person's made you um, very, very happy, you have not let that um, be a detriment to your identity and who you are. I, I really feel like you're like, nothing's gonna get me down. I'm in my own power. I know what I want. And if this person's not ready, then I'll release. And I feel like you're in the, you're in the energy of, I'm gonna, I'm gonna live life to the fullest and I'm gonna, I'm gonna pursue my dreams, my hopes, my wishes. Um, I could be talking to somebody who, 
is dealing with somebody in like TV or acting or um, there's a strong personality I feel coming through here that is um, uh, very strongly in the public eye, okay? Um, And I feel like that's you, Virgo. Um, And you're dealing with somebody who has been hurt. All right, and they don't trust that love is actually for them. They don't trust love. It's like this person doesn't believe in love and in this drawback, they've been focused on coming out of that mistrust phase. What have you been focused on? (laughs) Virgo, I'm gonna tell you this. I feel like you've been focused on this person. You've been manifesting this as a magician. You're like, I know this person and I are, we're supposed to be together. We belong to each other. And I do feel like you're in this energy where you have a lot of suitors, whether you are male or female, you have a lot of people that wants to give you attention, but you're holding this person. Like, I know this person's coming back. All right. And I feel like you're just like, it's not even that you're waiting. You just know. I just, whoever I'm talking to, you know that this person is coming back. You know that this is the one, all right? And you know that you're gonna spend a life together. This is happiness right here. Um, And you guys feel like, um, like, you know, like, I don't wanna say little kids, but it's like that pure, innocent love. Um, You feel that even on this disconnection right now, you feel the love for this person and you're like, we're going to go places and we're going to do things and we're going to have a life together. And this person is mine. I don't care what they think, what they say or how far they leave. They're coming back. I feel like you're just in this energy of, I know how to manifest and this is what I want and I am getting it. And you just, you know, the universe is going to give to you whatever it is you want. So let's see how this person feels about you. Wow. They look at you as um, number one. We have both divine masculines out in the deck now, but this person looks at you as, um, and this person too could actually be in this energy where you are too good for them. All right, this is about success, honor, loyalty. This is a stable partner. This is like the ultimate right here. This person looks at you as everything. You got your shit going on, Virgo, and this person does recognize that. I almost feel like with the two of wands, um, this is about co-creation. This is building an empire together, and I do feel like this person um, sees that with you, but I feel like, too, they're in this, um, like, is it too good to be true type of energy? Um, they, they want their, they, this person's wanted their ships to come in for a very long time and they do see a win with you. Okay. Don't doubt that for a second. And I know that you don't, cause whoever I'm talking to, you have a very high vibration. Um, you have a very, very, um, high self-esteem and you know, you, you don't like any self-confidence and that it's not ego. You're just, I, I really like whoever it is that's, that's resonating with this. I just, I love your energy because it's so positive and this person sees that. And I almost feel like this person just kind of radiates off of your energy um, where they didn't have faith before. Even if you guys haven't talked, I feel like this person can feel your energy. So let's see, I'm going to pull signs and see what's going to be happening as this comes together. So what you're going to be um witnessing seeing feeling as this comes together lots lots of love lots of love you are going to be feeling lots of love and where the the initial disconnection may have hurt a little bit you're moving past that with the six of swords energy all right so i do feel like you're you're leaving this you know what belongs to you will come back all right and you know that this connection is here because it means something. You could be seeing a lot of threes. You could be seeing a lot of sixes. You could be seeing three, six, nine a lot. Okay. Um, With the King of Cups energy, this could be the person on your mind. Um, Cancer mainly, but Cancer uh, Scorpio Pisces energy. And um, this is just going to be confirmation that the more you think of this person in a positive light and in love, knowing that they're returning, Um, I feel like you're going to be feeling that intuitively that this person's coming back. 
All right, scene 369. Um, uh, embodying, and I don't even feel like you're actually hurt over this because you know that it's gonna return. And I just feel like if anything, when it did initially, I feel like that's, you've released it because you know what's yours is coming to you. So let's see what your advice is. Your advice. Yeah. This is the universe saying, you know, this is going to have, you're going to be seeing 777 too. All right. But this is a connection. You guys have a lot of opportunity together. Okay. And I feel like this is confirmation where you are, you are being sent. You guys are being sent. You're being drawn in together and you are going to be a catalyst for this person's healing. Um, in the way that they think about love, all right? And there is going to be a kickstart. There's going to be a reignition of this. And I feel like you both are in this energy, uh, Ace of Wands um, energy. And the universe is confirming. You guys are an inspiration together. You guys are an inspiration for each other, all right? And I also feel like this is saying that there's not a lot of healing that actually needs to take place. And for whoever I'm talking to, I don't feel like you're, you've been disconnected from this person for very long, all right? And it's going to come back through, I feel like, it, with even more power and more passion um, than it was when you guys initially um, interacted. So I'm going to pull some initials. This is going to be yours or their first, middle, or last. Um, again, if the initials are not yours or theirs, please do not be offended. The read is still yours if you are still here to this point, okay? Claim that shit, man. Bring that person in. Whoever I'm talking to, you have a very positive energy. I like it. So we have I, N, M, W, V, D, That famous Q, T, and C. All right, Virgo, I'm going to leave it there. I love you guys so much. Please comment. Let me know who's experiencing this. I want to hear your story. Stay positive, you guys. I love you.